Okay, you guys are back. So, um, yeah, somebody might say, what's the point of having those transformers? Well, it actually can, it's actually using a transformer, you can't see it, to hold the tablet. Okay, so, um, I wanted to show this in real time and not do fast motion to show um, how long it actually does take to do this. And I do know that I am, I do ramble a little bit and I do get distracted a little bit. But I wanted to at least give you an idea because you see like the American tech guy. Yeah, it's cool. It's, I like this stuff, but I wish he would talk and explain stuff and show how long it takes. But people don't have time for that. People don't have time for that. Um, X-Ray Tony B would, um, you know, go into details about stuff and then he'd say, well, a couple commenters say, make your videos shorter. I'm like, yeah, X-Ray Tony B, make it an hour long. I don't, I don't care. I'd rather you explain and, um, shit. What the heck happened to the thing I was going to use? Oh, here it is. I'm like, well, I'd rather you explain it. You know, how you, you know, if you watch a makeup video, not that these, <laughs> the people watching this aren't watching the makeup videos, but you want them to explain things. It's a, it's helpful. So, okay, so we will move faster on these projects. And then if you want me to do stuff in fast motion, we will do stuff in fast motion. I will respond based on the comments of the people. But with this project, I want to show you, yes, we did see this smoking and breaking. And so we're doing this whole project in real time just so you get an idea of it and you can understand that you might be faster at this if you have a drill press yeah you know what if you have, if eventually i will have a drill press you could just stack those in there put them in the drill press bam 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 you know um anybody who's done any type of manufacturing or um electronics or you know any type of stuff like that you understand what kind of tools are available to speed things up. But working with what I have, and eventually I will get a table and a camera that's a little bit better and I won't complain so much about it. It's my, it's my fault. I don't want you guys to solve the problems. It's my problem. Okay, so um, yeah. Okay, so we were doing two of them. This one's a little bit better, um, and I forget the word, it's carbonide, oh, whatever, but it's um, better. Oh, I just love this. This is going to be awesome, you guys. So, oh, look at that. It's, it's in there. So we got four levels. We got four of them, and the capacitors are all... Um, divvied up based on to make them as equal as possible on the microfrad so there's not a lot of capacity on one area or another um, and then I have this wire that maybe as we talk and go um, some if you see these wires like this they're usually copper and it's usually a solid one in there, or it's usually multiple things. Okay, 600 volts, 19 mils, manufactured July 12, 2017. Um, so you know that a lot of times it's multiple strands in there. So what I, to make traces for this, because I don't want to skimp on it and I don't want to use, it's a bad idea to use solder or solder, solder as Mr. Carlson would say, as a trace. Yes, you can use solder as a trace, 
but it would be better if I have this to maybe wire a bunch of these and then go over it and over and over it with because I want these when this capacitor bank discharges I want it to discharge I don't want the re I want the resistance to be extremely close to zero and that we can get it so let's just try with a new one to see if we can get this so I want to do this project in real time but um, my other projects yeah I can edit do fast motion based on your guys's comments on what you what you like especially with putting together the kits because you know it's a good idea to show how long it does take to put together a kit you see on Instagram people putting together kits really fast and you're like hey I can do that and this and that and then you realize that you have all these barriers like cleaning off the the solder thing and letting it flow and uh, they didn't give you the right parts or a part gets damaged you know that's and then you are on Instagram and you're like you don't see that and it's just like magic it's so easy um, you know, Adafruit makes things look easy and it is easy if you have all the right stuff and it's a good service. There's Sparkfire, SparkFun, um, those things. I want to get into that stuff too. You know, it's not, why are we, did I break a, the breaker? No. What happened? Oh, this is so annoying. What happened? I couldn't have broke the breaker with this thing. It's dead. It's not working. Oh, sh Oh my god, what the hell? <sighs> oh my god, you guys. I am not. What the <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so we are down with these other ones. This one, let's see if it works better. Yeah, this one's working a little bit better. We are going to have to use the other drill bit to make this bigger, maybe. Okay, so we're using the template again. We're using the template again. And then we will have to, to make it so much easier, probably grab one of those bigger ones and go through with it. So you have your template, which is better. You should have gloves on. You should put this in a vise. You should have a drill press, but...
Okay. All right. So then let's go ahead. Oh, that's this is for a different drill. This is for a totally different drill. Oh, uh, but I do have all these little awesome things in here with this Dremel. These Dremel things are so cool. Like, whatever you're into, you could do some really cool stuff. Do I have any more drill? I have a whole thing of drill, drill pieces, but these are all like little cutting things. I can't put one of those in there. What's the best way to make this happen? This is the one that broke, maybe? I need to widen it out. I guess I could just use... Put this one back in. It is a little wider and it broke. Um, yeah, so if I'm changing the bit, probably a good idea to unplug it. And it has a little stopper thing there. And then you can just um, go there. I do have a really nice thing of other ones. So I want to just see if I can make those holes a little bit bigger. Need a bigger thing there. But I do have... Where are those drill bits? Yeah, I do have some really nice drill bits that do go for this. Okay, let's see if I can just go ahead and then if we can insert those. So we'll have to go over it one more time with, with all of those because I don't, I want them, I don't, I want it to be snug. You want it to be snug. You don't want it to be extra space in there because um, solder will go in there and then it'll start getting on top of that. So... That's the whole point of these holes being snug enough and you having it right. So, okay, let's just see if we can just do this and get it a lot better. What is, this thing is, yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, this one is, this one is bigger. One is, it's actually easier to do it this way. Yeah, it's easier to do it this way. Get the stuff on there. Actually, because we do have the holes, because we do have the holes from before, I don't really need the template. But actually, don't. Well, the template's been widened up enough. Just take two of them. The holes are already in there. Make sure it's aligned right because I didn't label um, an up or down. See, see, look at that, look at that. So it would have been easier if I put a mark, an X, to know which one's up. So we're approaching 15 minutes and we'll make another video, we'll keep doing this until we get it. Okay, and we'll do another video.